Hi, fifth graders. Um, it's Mrs. Heck here, and as promised, I was going to give you a little bit of some sewing lessons. Today, we're going to do an unboxing. So we're going to open up some of those dollar store bo um, boxes of sewing supplies that you may have purchased, and we're going to see what's inside of them, as well as maybe other things that maybe you went to Walmart or Target, or you were able to get something on Amazon, or maybe mom and dad already had some sewing supplies in the house. So don't worry if you don't have all of these things, um, but I'm going to show you what you might have if you do see something in there and um, what the things are called and what they're used for. Um, and then um, just some very simple videos that I will share with you of how to, to um, thread your needle, tie a knot, uh, how to do some simple stitches. Um, we're not gonna do an official project this week, um, but uh, maybe you guys can work on some rainbows. I'm gonna put that up on my website as well um, as a project while you're not there practicing. And then next week we're gonna learn some more about stitches and such. So we'll take your time and we're gonna do a couple kind of fun projects. And hopefully before we know it, we'll be back to school and we'll be able to work on our pillows. So let's start with that unboxing. So. Let me get you all hooked up here. My little makeshift, uh, what you might see. So here we are. If you can see here, I have um, one of those little, uh, this is the one I think from Walmart, um, $1.47. So it's just a little sewing kit. And um, if I uh, take the label off and I open it up, oh, it's probably got some tape on it. That's okay. There we go. We can take a look and see what's inside. So, so let's start with these. These are called spools of thread. Okay, and you may have a couple of them in your little sewing kit, some different colors. Sometimes they give you some extra colors of thread here um, that uh, you could also use as well. This is not gonna get you too, too far, but it'll be fine for what you're gonna do as a beginner. Um, sometimes spools of thread also come as much larger units, like I have a spool of thread here. This is a large cone, it has some other scrap thread attached to it, so, but this is for somebody who's gonna sew a lot. Um, and it um, also comes in lots of different colors as well, so you can buy them much, much bigger um, and keep them as part of your collection. And of course, I have lots of other thread that when we get back to school, you'll be able to check all this stuff out and pick out the ones that you want to use, both the small ones and the large ones, as I purchased them uh, mostly at Walmart and Joann Fabric and Michaels. So, um, so those are some of the things you'll see there. And then there's this little tiny scissor, which is great if you just have to cut your thread, but it's um, not necessary. Um, it's not really good for cutting material, so. Um, Usually we end up juggling these little scissors, but they're good in a, in a pinch, so good to just snip things. You may or may not have a measuring tape. It's a flexible measuring tape because sometimes with fabric, you're going to have to wrap things around and you may want to see how big someone's fingers are so that you can make them a pair of gloves or their sleeves are. So if you made them a shirt, you would be able to get your hand in there. So you would have to use a, a flexible measuring tape in order to do those type of things. So there's a flexible measuring tape. And in this one, we have this little tiny packaging here and we'll show you what's in this little packaging Let me put this all over in this other section here okay they usually give you a couple of, of uh, spare buttons just emergency little buttons you can always buy extra buttons or maybe you have a collection of buttons at home um, you may find some safety pins in there I don't tend to use safety pins for too many things but um but they're there in case you want to check them out and see them. Um, and you may find that there is a needle threader. This is gonna be your favorite thing ever, is this needle threader. Okay, so that will be something that's very gonna be very useful. I'll show you how to use. And then you're also gonna find pins and needles. Now, the difference between pins and needles are needles have an eye. It's really hard to see. Let me see if I hold it up to my material here. Can you see that little eye? It's a little tiny hole at the top of the needle and um, they're pointy. Yeah, you might poke yourself, so just be careful. But, um, you know, that little hole there is what you're going to have to get the thread into. And I'm going to show you that in a different video. And then there are pins and pins. Oh, it's hard to pick up sometimes these pins. They may give you a couple pins. Some of the other sets give you more 
pins. Uh, I like pins because I think they hold your fabric together. Uh, it's really hard for me to pick this pin up. Oh my goodness. So, uh, well, if you look at the pin, it has a little like nail head on top. Sometimes pins can come in a different shape as well. They may come, I have bought this little set of pins. You can see all the pins in here have little uh, like bees on top of them and there's a pin cushion right here too. So um, that's quite helpful as well. So um, some of the things that may not be in your sewing kit that you may want to try using at some point is um, this uh, is a different type of pin cushion, just a little tomato pin cushion. Got to be careful squeezing them. Sometimes there's needles inside. You got to be careful with that. Um, sometimes you want to use things like snaps. So you can snap things. Comes with two sides. You have to sew them on. Okay. There are, of course, are beads and buttons. There's a bead. Okay. This is called a thread ripper, a seam ripper. It's pretty sharp over here. It's got the little razor blade on the inside and I will show you how to use that another day. So that's called a seam ripper and you would be able to undo what you've sewn if you made any mistakes. And just remember, if um, you can't pick something up like you know your pins and needles, you can always use a magnet. And look how easy my pin just came up. So I can show it to you, the little pin as opposed to the needle. So um, that's just a basic unboxing of what you had. And um, there's so many other art supplies out there as well. Um, this is a very sharp tool. This is meant for like cutting um, materials. So it has like a, a razor knife on it so that you can slice through materials quickly. You would need a mat like I have in order to do that so you don't cut your mom's um, table or anything like that. Um, there's all different types of magnetic uh, pin holders that you can order. I like to keep my regular pins in an old jar that I've had from my grandmother's house. Okay, these are called bobbins. Usually we just use them for sewing machines, but we're not going to be using a sewing machine with this project. Um, some of you may find a thimble inside your sewing kit. Some kits come with thimbles, some don't. Don't worry if they don't, we often don't use them, but someone who sews a lot may use one or two on their fingers. If they keep poking themselves a lot, that would be a place to put that thimble so that um, you don't poke yourself too hard and, and on purpose. Um, but thimbles are really not necessary, but they do come with some sewing kits sometimes. Okay, so, um, so you will need, of course, a much better pair of scissors for your project. You'll need some material, the material that you will need for your practice and your projects. Well, they could be those little scraps of material you can find at Walmart if you can find them. Everybody's making masks. You can use the sock. Maybe you have one of those mismatched socks that you don't know what happened to the other one. Um, the laundry monster got it and took it away forever. So now you can recycle one sock and use it for practice sewing. Maybe you have an old t-shirt that uh, maybe has a hole in it or you outgrew it. Those would be good things, good pieces of material to save that you can use for your project. Or maybe you even have some felt, you know, like we were using at school. It comes in different colors. I got this at Walmart. It was pretty inexpensive, a couple bucks. So, but um, felt pieces by themselves or maybe between, you know, 45 to 60 cents each. So you can um, pick out a couple slices of felt if you want some colors um, for uh, upcoming projects that we might do um, at that time. So, so those are some things that you will see that you will need. And next week, as I mentioned to you, um, we will be doing some more sewing together. All right, bye guys.